few weeks ago, I ran into a huge problem. Now, it didn't start off a problem. It started off with getting a call to play a gig with Grammy-nominated artist and a friend of mine, Cody Fry, in St. Louis with the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra, which is amazing. But I ran into a problem. I would have to play Cajon on this gig. Now, if you're new to this channel, you might be wondering, well, why is that an issue? And it's because if you go back on this YouTube channel, you'll see there's a long history of me not playing Cajon. And you might be asking yourself, why does Cody want you to play this little wooden box anyway? It's because playing a gig like this with a live orchestra and Cody, you need to be really sensitive to dynamics and sensitive to the room. And pretty much a full drum kit is gonna just totally overwhelm the orchestra. So I have to play a low volume drum kit. And that's why a lot of drummers, that's the exact kind of scenario a lot of drummers turn to, to use a cajon. And cajons work for some people, you know? They kinda sound like a kick drum and a snare drum, kinda. And you can put it on your back and you're good to go. Great. Now the reason I personally do not use cajons is because, one, I just, <laughs> I don't sound good playing them. And two, they're really, really limited with the sounds that you can make with them. Now in the past, to get around this issue of having to play Cajon, I would normally play a Roland SPDSX because, you know, it's easy, you set up the pad, you plug in, and most of these low volume situations do use some kind of sound system, even if it's a quiet sound system, but that wasn't gonna work on this gig. This show with Cody was different because it was gonna force me to figure out how to play a low volume gig without a Roland SPDSX because that just wasn't appropriate for this gig. It wasn't gonna work at all. And I needed an acoustic solution to this problem, which is something you all have brought up when I've talked about using a Roland SPDSX in this kind of situation in previous videos. For this gig, I was gonna need a low volume acoustic drum percussion setup thing that covered a lot of basses. Here's kind of some of the things that I would need in an ideal world from this drum kit. A bass drum that sounds like a bass drum and ideally is tunable. Several snare options for different sounds of backbeats, the ability to play the drums with a bunch of different hitting implements. So potentially sticks, uh, uh, rakes, uh, brushes, like broomstick things. I need to be able to play these drums with a lot of different hitting implements. Have a super small footprint on the stage and potentially have the ability to fly with this setup because later in the year, Cody actually has a few shows that I'm playing on that might require us to fly. So when I was called with this gig, I was really confronted with an issue of what am I gonna do? Because the Cajon thing doesn't really work for me and my sound and the flexibility I need for this particular gig. And what am I gonna do? Show up and play for a couple thousand people with a Grammy nominated artist in town, bad? Um, that, that wasn't an option for me. That's not why I get hired. I needed to sound good and I needed a solution. So really got my gears turning. And for a while, I really just, I didn't have a solution. Now fast forward a few weeks, I had the opportunity along with a bunch of other drummers to fly out to Sweetwater, go to their headquarters and check out a bunch of new gear that they're releasing for drum month. All month they have cool deals, new gear that's available on the site. This video is sponsored by them. They made this video possible by giving me the solution I needed. Uh, I was walking the showroom floor at Drum Fest and I just happened to walk by the Toka booth and they had this little drum set called the Toka Kickbox. Huge shout out to Sweetwater for making this video happen, for sponsoring this video, because I saw that little kit on the showroom floor and I said, I think that's gonna be the perfect solution. Can you guys ship me one? And they did. It showed up and I was so pumped right away with kind of the, where my mind went with all of the things that this drum set would be capable of. This drum set is basically Toka's version of a suitcase drum kit, where all the drums collapse down and fit inside the suitcase. When you take all the drums out and set them up, the suitcase that they all fit away in becomes the kick drum. It's a super cool idea and it sounds amazing. It works perfectly for a low volume environment where you need to kind of play drums and play percussion, but you want it to be quiet. Included with the kickbox, you get a 14 inch tunable bass drum, 
which doubles as the case that all of the drums fit in when you're traveling with it. A 10 inch tunable tom with the mount where you can mount it. A 10 inch tunable snare with a mount. Two arms to mount the drums and any other accessories. A handle to carry the case that also doubles as a mount for clamps and accessories. And inside the suitcase bass drum is enough space to pack away the two drums and a kick pedal inside of it. And I was even able to fit another drum inside of there. I cut down a 12 inch rack tom and used it as another snare option on this gig and it even fit in there. So I got three drums in there and a kick drum pedal. Then you just pick the thing up and you walk away with it. reason I would make a video like this is if it actually solved the problem and it actually is a piece of gear I would use. And this Toka kickbox drum set was perfect for this gig with Cody. The drums are super tunable and super playable. And this gig with Cody required me to use brooms, rakes, and, and most importantly, brushes. I think ideally, since they're such small drums, you know, you're probably going to want to tune them up. But I found that especially the 10 inch Tom, you could tune it way down. Same with the kick drum. You could tune it way down and get a really nice, beefy, full, uh, you know, kick drum sound just out of the suitcase drum thing. It, it was kind of amazing. Build quality of everything on the Toka Kickbox was really impressive. You know, that's one of the things that um, sometimes, especially when you're trying to get mounts and stuff that you can clamp stuff on and fit the drums all inside a thing, like it's pretty easy. That's a lot of hardware, a lot of moving pieces. It's pretty easy for a company to make something where they kind of cheap out on some of those things. And it's a cool idea in theory, but then it doesn't really work in real life because it fell apart the first gig you took it on. And that's not the case with this. Um, this thing was great. It packed up even more than was included with it. And the latches on it are super sturdy. The hinges on it are super sturdy. The mounts are really good. They're double adjustable mounts where you have kind of a wing nut that tightens down and then a drum lug that also tightens down, which is super important because if those mounts start moving during the gig, it's gonna be a pain and drums will be tilting all over the place. And because it's kind of double secured, that didn't happen. So I used this thing on the gig for the first time and man, it was amazing. Everybody when I showed up with it was kind of fascinated by it. Um, it was definitely a, a good icebreaker. The front of house engineer was very confused and also kind of excited because he is used to people using cajones and things. And he was saying as I was setting it up, you know, sometimes a cajon, it just, it, it, it isn't built for this kind of application. They're an amazing instrument when someone who actually knows how to play a cajon is playing it. But for someone like me that, doesn't ever play cajon and kind of actually wants a bass drum, not a cajon. He was saying that a lot of times it's hard to get the right sound at front of house. Uh, so it translates to the audience when someone's, you know, just up there playing a cajon. And he said that this thing sounded amazing. It was really easy to get mics placed, mic it up so where it sounded perfect for the situation we were in, which is really, really cool. So thanks again to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. Drum month is going on all month. Uh, go over to Sweetwater, check out the deals that they have going on, check out the new gear they've released. And this Toka Kickbox really exceeded expectations. Um, it's now something that I actually want to find more applications for because of how versatile it is. Uh, whereas when I got it, I was like, it's just going to solve this one problem and then I'll move on with my life and I'll have a solution for that problem. Now I'm like, this thing's kind of fun to play. It sounds cool. The drums sound really good. They're really tunable. Um, I want to find different uses for it.